This was like nothing I've ever seen before. Uh, IKEA does something every year for the new collection. The question was, uh, what, what, what can we do this year to make it really stand out? The, the story is based on the uh, idea that um, when you get a whole bunch of new items, but you're not 100% sure where everything's going to go. It could go in the living room, could go in the bedroom. So you kind of try things out, especially as a couple. You'll, you know, put the lamp there and suddenly we'll go, hmm, no, I'm not sure, put it over there. So we decided to take this kind of mundane situation of a couple trying to figure out where to put things. Which usually ends up in a fight. Which, <laughs> yes, and somebody deciding that they, they know better. Uh, we came up with the idea after seeing the show so we think could dance because Robert was the last contestant and, uh, and he was just so uh, awe-inspiring and Nigel Lithgow, the one of the judges, said someone should put you in a video or a movie or a TV commercial. <gasps> TV commercial? Wait, we can We're do that. advertising! <laughs> we can do that. My name is Robert. Um, from Los Angeles, California. The style of dance I do is called popping. Um, for a quick explanation on it, it's uh, a lot of muscle control and um, isolation. My name is Shigamay Johnson, and I'm from Toronto, Canada, and I'm a liquid dancer. Liquid is a form of dance. It's mostly waving, um, floor slides, knee slides. There's different variations. Um, it is a freestyle form of dance, and I've been doing my version of it for 15 years. The biggest challenge was making sure that the dancers interacted with enough IKEA pieces because we didn't want to have a spot where these two are just you know, dancing around for the fun of it because that wouldn't have any idea or insight to it. I, I don't know if I admitted this to everyone before, but I've never really worked with dancers <laughs> before. Uh, so I didn't know if I was going to be able to talk to them in a language that we would both understand. Like, you know, I figured that I'd end up sounding like a crazy white guy. You never know what's going to happen until, I guess, the day before, really, when we were rehearsing. That's when it all kind of came to bear, if this was actually going to work. In the first couple of hours, we were sitting there a bit kind of nervous. Yeah. The chemistry of the dancers was incredibly important. The thing that we were up against is that he lived in L.A., she was cast here, and we kind of, like, rolled the dice on that a little bit, you know? Like, she was super cute. He was, like, you know, pretty, like, we saw him a lot on TV, so we knew what we were getting with him. And I thought, you know what, I think they're going to work together. But believe me, when, I, when they walked into the room, I was, I was holding my breath. And action. As it turns out, their movements actually helped highlight the products. They just made those products look better just by the fact that they're holding them. We had to make sure we used their talents, their abilities, we couldn't have done this without their ideas and thoughts, and they had many of them. Once we had kind of worked through what the choreography was, and then everything started going into place. Yeah, we're like, Ooh, it might just work. <laughs> we do love Robert's new move, which is when he somehow sticks his foot behind his head. Everybody's jaw dropped to the floor. We're like, wow. We're not sure quite how he does that. The commercial is going to be insane. It's going to be dope. I already know it. <laughs>